So that's why you didn't want to eat. Okay, so guess who molted you guys? My grandma stole a pull crop. And I'm not going to be disturbing her because you can see her mold is still under her. What I am going to do is give her a little bit more moisture. Where is my, there it is. All right, so here's some water and I've lost tarantulas after they mold because maybe it's a little bit too dry. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm not gonna be disturbing her, but I'm gonna be pouring water like over here just so that she can maybe absorb some moisture or maybe come here to drink if she wishes. So I'm not disturbing her, as you can see, she hasn't moved. So I'm just letting the water go down into the substrate so it'll allow the humidity from the below to come up. But yeah, as you can see, the water is just staying over there, not disturbing her in any way. So yeah, that's why she didn't want to eat, I guess. Oh, you can see the water is already like coming down over there. Which is a good thing because you don't want the substrate to be super wet on the top. You want the substrate to be damp on the bottom. So that way, the humidity rises slowly from the bottom. You don't want it soaking wet on the top because a lot of tarantulas, besides the Asian species, don't like that. So yeah, although all of them, I actually don't keep any of my tarantulas on super bone dry substrate because think of it, in the wild, those burrowing tarantulas, especially, yeah, especially those burrowing tarantulas, even my GBB, I put a little bit, not too much, but a little bit, just so that they can get some humidity from the bottom because think about it, in the wild, I mean, besides the desert, but even in the desert, there have been uh, reports of Arizona blondes when people, people say they live in a desert, right? But people, when they found them, they checked their burrows and there were like water droplets under the burrow. So yeah, it's pretty humid down there as well. So like I said, I will put a little bit of water, especially, I, I mean, not especially, but even my Grimmastola porteri over here, rose hair, a lot of people keep them bone, 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 bone dry. But I mean, for the most part it is, but for me, I just let it, damp a little bit on the bottom just so that the tarantula will be able to get some moisture from the bottom up because that's how it is in the wild as well. They dig down burrow, they dig down deep to find some cool moisture place because you're not going to find a tarantula out in the open in the desert. I mean, aside from matured males, you're not going to see the females like sitting on a rock, very rare, sitting on a rock, basking in the sun in the dry, dry terrain. So. No, they're usually underground because it's moist and humid and cool. So yeah, that's why I'm trying to mimic that like a little micro little environment. I'm trying to mimic that with some moisture at the bottom. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with this girl as well who just molted because I'm not sure if my previous tarantula died after molt because it was too dry or yeah, just to be safe, just put a little bit of moisture down there for them. 